Hey everybody, today we are going to learn uh, how to download financial data for any uh, stock price from Yahoo Finance and actually create interesting and useful charts with it along with um, analysis and all that, even train machine learning models just using cursor. So uh, we're just going to start from scratch, right? Uh, just create a new composer in agent mode. And let's just uh, ask it to download, for example, NVIDIA financial data. Can you please uh, download all of NVIDIA financial data into a CSV? Let's just ask for that. Uh, we are asking for a CSV so that we can perform, uh, can draw plots and perform data analysis. So we are, uh, it is creating these files, NVIDIA financial data. Uh, there we go. We have it already. We can just run it. Also, also, I'd like to mention that I have my rules for AI, which I'll uh, save as a text file. You can download it uh, from my under the post and Patreon. So this is actually helping us uh, with every file that we are generating. Anyway, we just ran this and it had downloaded all the data for, uh, yeah, for, for NVIDIA and saved it. Uh, all the way from 1999 to uh, 2025. Right. It's quite quite long. So let's ask it to create some plots for us. Can you please do exploratory data analysis on the CSV and also create some useful plots so that we can understand the data better? When you're creating the plots, make sure that the foreground colors, like such as text, and the background colors are distinctly separated. Um, I do say that because sometimes uh, it, it'll probably use matplotlib and it just sometimes gets the colors confused. That's why I added that. Also, I'm using this transcription app. This comes with Windows. I'm on Windows and this is just, uh, you can trigger it with the Windows key, Win plus H. That's the shortcut. I actually assigned it to one of my uh, mouse buttons so to make it convenient. Okay, it's now creating this file which is going to do all the uh, analysis so like candlestick analysis plot returns distribution volume analysis and all that and uh, when you're dealing with composer it usually explains itself at the end so uh, here we go it actually tells you what it's going to do anyway let's run this real quick so we are uh, running it manually uh, and it created the same video plots Stock price, let's see, stock price history. That looks nice. That's uh, lovely. That's what we like to see in a stock. Trading volume over time. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, although, uh, I don't know if it put uh, uh, years here. At least we can't see it. We can fix all that later. Candlestick analysis, returns, distribution. And uh, this is what it had uh, created. We can uh, go ahead and ask it to, for example, compare different years. Can you please compare the year 2022 and uh, with, the year, with the year 2024 in a single plot? Uh, and also, after creating the script, please run it. Okay, so we can actually ask Agent to run the script, which it will do. Uh, this way, we don't have to run it manually. It's up to you, really. Uh, if there is an error in the file, you'd have to run it and copy paste the error. But rather, if you let agent run it, then it'll auto correct and script will have run by that time anyway. So this is nice because we are actually uh, creating these files, which we can later use as well. Uh, the naming can get confusing. We can actually instruct it to name these files uh, better. We'll do that after uh, creating this. It actually updated the NVIDIA.EDA. Uh, we could, let's cancel this because um, we, maybe we wanted this into in a new file. So we can actually go ahead and say, please create this as a new script. And also rename all the files to better reflect uh, what they're doing. Okay, so we are giving it uh, kind of like a multi-task prompt here. Let's see if it'll get this done. Okay, it is now creating an NVIDIA yearly comparison.py. Right now, listen to me. I've been trying to told you, and you know, like I like toting the fact that I can code 
and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it. It's easy. So um, I came across 1000X Cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, 1000X, you're coding. 